y'all, Walmart is doing something that a lot of other companies might not be able to compete with and a lot of other companies can't afford to compete with. What am I talking about? What is Walmart up to? Well, what they're doing will affect employee paychecks and will affect customers. Stay tuned to find out exactly what I'm speaking about. What's up fam? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me here today on Tuesday. So I was headed, actually headed out to Walmart and then I saw this and I said, well, let me let people know what Walmart is up to. So if you want to know what they are up to, what changes they are making because of the uh, inflation that we're going through, the price increases. Stay tuned. This will be a quick video. I won't skip through everything. I'm going to jump right to it. But let me take care of some business first. Go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. It is all free 99. Share this video out as many times as you possibly can. Also, leave some comments down below. So let's find out what Walmart is doing right now. So this article, I will leave it linked in the description box um, if I don't forget. So Walmart increases average hourly wages to more than $17.50. Here's how they're going to do it. Walmart announced plans to hike its average hourly pay to more than $17.50. In a statement to the U.S. Employees Walmart U.S. CEO President John Firmer, is it Firmer? Ferner said, starting next month, we'll begin investing in higher wages for our associates. And this is not just some associates. Check this out. I think this will hopefully boost morale because I don't know if you've noticed when you go into Walmart, they just don't seem happy. You might find some here and there are just happy people, but for the most part, you find people I'm just here because I need to get this check. It's not all that I need to deal with all of these people that's coming in here with all of their attitudes because they can't find what they need because we got stuff locked up, because we don't have stuff on the shelf, because we have food shortages, because the prices are higher. Whew, out of breath. So he added that this includes a mixture of associates that will be receiving the pay raises, regular annual increases, and targeted investments in starting rates for thousands of stores to ensure we have attractive pay in the markets we operate. It's about time. We expect these raises to bring our U.S. average hourly wage to more than $17.50. And he also goes on to state that everyone will see this reflected in their March 2nd paychecks. So that is something for them to look forward to and hopefully they come through with what they're saying they're going to do, you guys. So let me go on. Walmart said the previous range of store employees in the US was $12 to $17 per hour. The new range is $14 to $19 per hour. This brings the minimum wage closer to $15, which is the number CEO Doug McMillan told Yahoo Finance that will go beyond that probably over time. The national minimum wage stands at $7.25. And when I say that is not enough money, that is not enough money. I remember starting out in childcare taking care of people's children all day long and only getting $7.25 per hour. And then as you increase, you know, you got to go to school, you got to get your certificates, and then they increase your pay. And they only increase my pay to $9.50. So when I say it is well-deserved, people work so hard for a little bit of money. Can you imagine making $7.25 an hour right now with the way the economy is reflected right now? recession in the air. I'm gonna leave a clip in this video as well where he kind of hints and talks about um, recession. He can't call it a recession, but they are seeing that people are buying less. People are also buying cheaper. You know, even people who are making over $100,000 a 
year are buying cheaper because of the economy right so now. let's talk about how this will also benefit the consumer the customer one of the ways i believe that it can benefit us the, the customer is these sales that they're going to have so not a lot of people are buying home goods or electronics so you're going to see an increase in sales and promotions because they have so much inventory backed up that they gotta get it out of there so please look out for um, walmart's well blue light would be kmart for walmart's sales and clearances I mean, keep an eye out because if you're in the market for a TV, a computer, or a laptop, or whatever, now is the time when they have excess inventory that they cannot sell because people are just not able to buy that. We got to buy our food. We got to buy our medications. Ferner also shared plans to expand its Associate to Drive program. This program first opened to supply chain workers uh, when it was introduced in 2022, it is now open to store employees. As of last week, Walmart pays associates to earn their commercial driver's license to become Walmart truck drivers. The potential salary is $110,000 the first year. Um, Y'all, this is going to be something that other companies may not be able to compete with because what Walmart is trying to do is to ensure that they can start getting their shelves stocked back up and remain stocked back up by having a way to move their products. They're even shipping in things themselves as opposed, you know, and yes, we know Walmart gets the majority of their goods from China, but they're trying to outsource through other companies than what they were using so that that way they can get their products in. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If this video was helpful for you, to you, please share it out. Please hit the like, please subscribe and leave some comments down below. That is one of the best ways to actually help me out on this channel and it not cost you a thing is to hit that like, share it out, and leave some comments down below that lets YouTube know, hey, she doing okay. And if you think I'm doing okay, go ahead and do those things. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. And in a world of craziness, if no one has told you that they love you, I love you. Peace, love, and light. Thanks so much for joining Tommy Bites. I'm about to say Homestead. TV. Tommy Bites. TV. When we talked three months ago, we were talking about consumers trading down to tuna fish from various other items. Well, in the face of a pretty challenging macro environment, Brian, we're seeing that uh, con consumers are looking for value. But um, it's definitely a, a challenging macro backdrop right now. Are anything in these numbers suggests that a recession is imminent, John? Well, I can't tell you that. But what I can tell you is what we see among our consumer or with consumer behavior of, of our customers. And if you look at things like private brand penetration, we saw an increase in our private brand penetra penetration of 130 basis points in the quarter. And similar to what we discussed last quarter, we're also seeing trade down into lower, less expensive proteins, things like beans and peanut butter and hot dogs from, from higher priced meats. And, and that's all at the same time when we're seeing share shift. We're actually gaining share in areas like food and incidentally, similar to last quarter as well, about 75% of that is coming from the income demographic or the household that's making more than $100,000 a year. Yeah, we couldn't be prouder of the, the progress that the team has made. And so just as context, at the end of the last quarter, our inventory was up about 26% year over year. That's down to 13% this quarter. And fully 70% of that is just related to inflation and high prices. And so if you look at where the inventory is today, a quarter ago, two quarters ago, it was all stuck in or, or, uh, up further into the supply chain. It was in the ports. We've been able to get that inventory to our stores now, which is important because that allows us to sell it. But we've been very targeted by category. If you look at the areas or the categories where we've struggled more, been in areas like uh, home, electronics, apparel. 
And, and so th that's uh, where we're challenged and we're trying to, to get that inventory out and sell it with uh, promotional activity during the holiday season.